Hey friends, it's Deanna here today and today we're working with neck bands. I've got this cute t-shirt for my son and I am going to attach the neck band. And I have an extra step I wanna try and I wanna show you about how you can make the back of your neck band be super neat. So let me show you what I'm talking about and let's do it together. All right, so here I have my bodice and my neck band, and usually we just have this neck band piece which we fold and we quarter. I like to use this little snippet to mark my quarters. It makes things a lot easier when I'm trying to attach. And then you also quarter your neck. And then you would attach your neck band right sides together at your neck. But today we're going to do an extra step. So what I've done is I grabbed my neck band piece, pattern piece, and I folded it in half so it gives me just the right amount for the, the side when it's folded. And then I only cut one, instead of cold, cutting it in the fold, I only cut one piece. And that's going to go in the back. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my neck band and I'm going to grab, as I'm attaching the neck band, I'm also going to attach this piece right here at the back. So let's find the half of it and attach it, uh, place it right sides together to the back of the band and all the way over to the other side, right, right along where the band is gonna go. Here at the end, I'm gonna fold that in so that my side, my end will be um, not just a raw edge and I'm gonna clip it here. And we're gonna do that same thing on the other side. So then when we sew it, sew it together, we're gonna to sew this uh, piece right along there. So then when it comes down, this piece is going to go over our seam allowance and cover that up. But let's go ahead and sew it first. All right, so I like to start in the back. Remember that you're sandwiching all those layers in here. So what we're gonna do now is make sure that that um, new place, that new fabric right there is lined up nicely with the neckband. We're all, we're stretching it out and aligning it all up with the neck. And I go to my first quarter and I start. Make sure that that seam allowance right there that we fold it down stays down when you go to, when you go past it. So you can either like do a little pin or even uh, baste it down if you want to before you go to it. Um, it is up to you. Sometimes I like to do like a, a little pin right here on the inside so it's not gonna get cut by my serger but it's like helping to fold it, to hold it there where it's supposed to stay. I'm gonna go all the way around. I undid the uh, clip on this one too fast and I forgot that that has to stay on there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fix that by putting it on there again and using my uh, my another pin to hold it down. All right, now the neckline has been sewn and usually this is what it would look like, but um, we are going to fix that. We're gonna grab our seam allowance. We're gonna face it towards that new piece we just, uh, we added on there and we're gonna fold that down to cover that seam allowance and then fold it down to the inside of the top and we're gonna pin and then we'll top stitch it down and we'll go all the way to the edge. So here is that piece at end. We're gonna move the seam allowance up, fold it right over and then fold it down and pin it and then we're gonna top stitch it and make sure that's tucked in there and pinned so you get a nice even neckline. Look at that. Once you top stitch it, that will be nice and hidden. Now you can do this all the way around if you want to, to hide the seam all the way down even to the front. Um, but that is obviously up to you, whatever you want to do, if you want to do it all the way to the front, but we just did it to the, um, to the edges, to the corners of the back. 
So I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and top stitch that and then show you how good that looks. All right, look at how good it turned out. So this is the inside and here's the back. There's a little top stitching line and that's about it. It looks so good and all that mess is hidden. And if you have a tag, you would attach the tag in there so it would get caught in there. And it just looks so professional and so good. All right, friends, I hope you enjoyed this little tiny tutorial that makes such a big difference. I hope you're going to try it. Let me know if you do. Um, it looks so good. I think I'm gonna start doing this to all my tops because that just looks really good. And it really wasn't that much of an extra step. It's just a little bit of top stitching on there. I did it with a straight stitch on my sewing machine. It still has plenty of stretch because it's just a little bit in the back. Um, and I think it looks amazing. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please comment, like, share, subscribe if you haven't so you never miss any of our tutorials. And I'll see you next time. Bye.